Hey, what is up guys? It's Okra1993 here and today's video is going to be a new deck profile about the Atlantean uh, Orcus deck. So a lot of people asking this, uh, this is the, the best build right now for some people. I pretty much like this but it's bricky, we have to be honest. So let's get started and let's see this build and how it works. So it's 40 cards in the main deck starting off with uh, one Deep Sea Diva, uh, three copies of Neptubus. Uh, the, these are the main starters for you. And one Neptubus or one Diva is it is one card adds tough combo for this deck. So uh, it's pretty much insane because you also have one for one. You have a lot of possibilities to search off your Neptubus. You're running three copies of him of himself plus the one Diva, which is really really awesome. Then we got three copies of Atlantean Dragoons. Uh, this is required for the combo as well. You want to maximize on this. And then I'm running the one infantry. Cut the marksman because it's another brick. And I think that this is enough. Uh, so you got four copies and you can activate Neptobis for a couple of times at least. Then we got the Lapis Dragon. This card is necessary for the combo and absolutely required. It's really crazy, you can search it off by uh, the Dragoons and when searched he can special summon himself on the field. And it's a tuner as well so you can uh, you can perform some cheeky plays with this as well if you want. And then one Moulin Glacier required for the combo as well, discarding two uh, from the opponent's hand is really uh, awesome so we still want to run him. Then for the Mermaids we got three copies of Abysteus. Uh, this is the main starter for you, as always. I love to use. Uh, you want to play three, also in this build, in my opinion. Then the one megalo, uh, one is fine now because uh, this is a going first build. You want to go first, seeing your Neptabus, and win the game through Ad Stuff or uh, True King of All Calamities. So uh, I think the one megalo is fine if you if you need this. Uh, if you go second, uh, you have it at least one and it's more than enough. And then the one gun, uh, because it is one of the strongest little mermaids out there. Then, uh, still running the frog engine because they perform pretty well going first. Uh, triple swap frog and the one ronin. Uh, not playing dupe frog for the same reason of the, uh, the possibility to brick with him. Uh, so this is the, the minimum, the minimum uh, required in order to summon the totally awesome. Uh, you can, if you don't like frogs, you can run three copies of Connector, New Space Connector, and the one Aqua Dolphin, which are pretty amazing as well, and pretty nice. You can do some uh, adds of play, even if you start with one Connector and a couple of Dragoons in your hand, so uh, consider also that for your own build. Then the one Mare, Mare uh, because it's so strong and two copies of the Strudo. Uh, this is going first list as I said before, so I don't want to maximize on the Strudos, but but this combo is really really too strong, so you wanna run this at least. Then uh, with the Strudo we start off uh, the dark engine of the deck. We're running one Ogopogo. Still liking this. If you have a free search through Dragoon, so you don't know what to add, you can add him and. It's a free abstract goblin that hits the field, 3k of defense, and it's a level 8, which can uh, come handy sometimes. Then, two copies of DD Crow as hand traps, uh, simply because they are dark, and also because in this meta game they are pretty, pretty good. Uh, they can hit a lot of targets, you can hit uh, really different decks. Then, for the Orcust uh, part of the deck, we got, uh, we got the one Skeleton, the one Harp. Uh, the one uh, Nightmare here and the one uh, uh, Baqueta. I don't know the name, the name of this, is a Scepter, I guess. Uh, the Big Stick, I, we can call it Big Stick. I don't want to maximize on this. Some people are running, is running two of these or maybe two of these uh, because if you draw into one of these, uh, you cannot combo anymore. But I don't want to break, so I think that this engine is really strong, but I don't want to break with this, so I'm just playing one of each, the minimum required. 
and then you have to run also the one uh, Phantom Knights clock which I don't have now uh, this is required for the combo as well then for the spell cards uh, we got three copies of Allure of Darkness uh, I decided to run this is pretty unorthodox but I really like this card it's a really good draw card and if you start off with some piece of shit here uh, you can still activate a little darkness and made some and make some good use of all of your uh, dark monsters that otherwise are pretty bricky in your hand then uh, running two copies of call by the grave uh, because you, if you want to perform the combo well uh, you have to have you have to have something to go uh, against the opponents and traps uh, then for the monocopies the one one for one the one monster reborn uh, the one mizuchi still able to otk and still searchable for megalo then the one uh, rank up magic and for the traps the one uh, shade brigadine uh, which is required for the combo as well these two are both searchable one through the bardish and one from through the uh, clock so that's it for the cards and main deck then for the extra deck, still running the one toad because I got the frogs in the uh, main deck, of course. Uh, the one dweller because it's really, really strong against a lot of matchups. The one tiny teeth reduer. Uh, this card uh, is good. It's really good. Also by itself, I really like this, and I use this also without the Azatov combo. Then the one Azatov, uh, of course, you can rank up the time teeth because it's dark into Azatov, as you know. Then for rank 7s, we got one Gaius, uh, still liking this, it's really, really huge. The one Lancelot uh, to rank up into uh, Calamities. So in the in the string of combo you can you can perform with your uh, Soul Neptabus, you will end up with both Tiny Thief Reduer and Lancelot on the field. I will show you the combo in another video if you want. And having both of them on the field prevents the opponent from activating a Kaiju. So they can Kaiju one of these, but you still have an option uh, to rank up on. So if they Kaiju the Tiny Thief, you can go uh, rank up in, rank, ranking up the Lancelot into Calamities, which is a really good play as well. Then uh, for the Synchros, I just have the one Yadzi left. Uh, you can run Brio if you want, because with the Lapis Dragon is really uh, easy to summon it's just snap is, is just uh, bryonic but i think that yazi is fine with this build the extra deck is really tight so you cannot afford to run a lot of different cards then for the nightmare and links we got the one mermaid the one phoenix and the one cerberus uh, these are uh, staples this is for the combo as well then the one galatea this card is so strong, really, really strong. The one uh, Summon Sorceress, the one Rusty Bardish, the Phantom Knight's Link, which I don't have, and the one Seruja, because you, you can still go pretty easy into Seruja. You have plenty of special summoning, and you can shuffle back your stuff. And draw four is always really strong of a Link for. So uh, that's it for the Orcust Mermail deck profile. Uh, let me know what do you think about this deck profile, if you like it, if you think it's too bricky or not. Uh, it's really cool to play, but sometimes uh, you can brick hard in my opinion. But but they are all dark, so if you run something like a Lure of Darkness, you can unbrick your hands and still play normal mermaids, at least with this list. So uh, that's it for today, consider supporting me on Paypal if you want to. Uh, it would be really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel, support me as well, and see you in the next one.